know what joy is, folks? Well, here it is. The extended Galak family gathered now in their home in Rosario, Philippines, enjoying food, laughter, and music performed by father and son, now 16 years of age, a household filled with love. But nine years ago, it was quite a different story when this family found out their eldest son, King, then seven years old, had a big problem. I'm thinking I'm about to lose him, but I keep on praying not to, please don't, don't get King. Uh, I will not ready for that, and I, I, have so, I have so many dreams for him. King was diagnosed with a heart defect, which, if left untreated, would claim his life. Back in 2013, we visited the Galak family at their home in Rosario, the Philippines, and we talked about King's condition and how they managed to successfully apply to the Herbie Fund for treatment. Uh, they found out that there's a murmur on the upper part, they advised us to go to a, a cardiology. I had a sleepless nights. How can my son survive? Uh, because they advised us to go on the surgery. He feels chest pain and he feels that his yeah. heart beats fast. The problem with our patient is that there is a hole. The ASD of Richard King is quite big because there's a certain extent that the heart muscle can accommodate blood, but when it is beyond its capacity, it eventually it goes into heart failure. We're talking about heart failure. Yes. Death. Yes. So what we will do, so I just keep on praying, I just keep on looking who will help us to, for King's uh, procedure. How did you find the herpes fund? What happened there? Actually, my sister-in-law lives there, and then when they found out the situation of my King, they heard about the Herbie Fund and then searched for it, and then uh, they, yeah, they advised to to send the papers and apply for it, and we approved. So King and his mom pack their things and prepare for the long journey ahead. The next time we see them is here at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. Now the family was hoping for a repair procedure using a catheter, which is much simpler and far less invasive, but. After some imaging was performed, it was clear he needed open-heart surgery. Cardiac surgeon Dr. Edward Hickey took the reins and the repair him. began with I mom and Auntie really Elsie nervously waiting me. for the result. We asked King what was life like before the surgery and what he remembered about his stay in hospital. I was limited to play with my friends because my parents told me that I have a problem, yeah. but they don't tell me what's, what's the problems. I just knew that, that I'm sick that time. I felt sad because whenever they're playing, I'm just sitting there at the side watching them have fun. So yeah. it's sad, but it's okay. I can't really remember the nurses, but I remember Dr. Hickey who operated me successfully. And they were so nice to me, even the nurses, even if I don't even know their names. Nice, eh? Dr. Hickey performed the miracle Herbie surgery and then gave the good word, the great news, to a very nervous mom and Aunt Elsie. Okay, so oh, you're welcome. King is thriving now, enjoying his hobbies and working hard in school. And he has a message for you. Thank you very much for the donations and I hope you can help a lot of children like me. And I would say thank you very much for the help and I would say I wouldn't be here if you weren't there. You meet these children and they're tremendously grateful parents and you understand why we keep doing this work and we need your support to keep doing it. So please, if you can, make a donation at HerbieFund.com. Going the distance to save the lives of children. I wouldn't be here if you weren't there. Watch for a world of difference. Still alive with kicking. All this week on City News, brought to you in part by Delta Airlines.